start. All right. We got GIFs. All these cats. Yeah. All these cats on Wine is Serious Business. <laughs> Hello, Internet. I'm Dan. And I'm Chaz. And this is Wine is Serious Business, episode 293. 293. Coming up on 300. Yep. We're here after the holidays. We took uh, we took New Year's off this year. We didn't get it together to do a sparkling wine show. Yeah. But we're here to make up for it with cats. More blind wine. What do we got? Yeah, well, we had such a good reception of the last blind show, right? We that, always do. That, uh, I'm like, man, we got to do it. So we, we haven't done some Oregon Pinot blind in a while. So this is three different vintages of Oregon Pinot from three different ABAs in Oregon. Oh, really uh, mixed up. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you. I feel, I feel like the vintage is going to be the more, uh, distinct indicator. Oh, Chaz has to cover his eyes. Yep. Wine number one's going in the glass. Remember to cover up the top of the bottle. Yeah. So I purchased these wines, um, and Dan is pouring. Dan has no idea what they chance. are. Uh, they're single blind for me, but uh, the bottle shapes are all subtly different, and I don't want to be tipped off as to what it is based on that. Yeah, and he knows them all. Yeah. So. Yes, I do. Cats on the table. All right, the bottle is recovered. Okay. We've got the uh, off-camera pour going out for delivery here. Look at this color. Look at this you color. Pour very much for me. Well, well, I'll I'll do better next time. Okay. I'll do better next time. Maybe we'll do better as the show progresses. We talked sure. about that too. Yeah, we talked about that. We're no, talking. the color is really solid. This is yeah. like, I think kind of I'll say like right in the middle of the road. The color is good, but it's not light. It's not dark. No. But it's not weak either. No. It's pretty. It's like a really really dark ruby. And it almost looks like it's. It almost looks like. A, Milky, but it's not at all. It's yeah. just the color is so maybe unfiltered. Maybe, good unfiltered? Depth. Yeah. maybe, yeah. There is an unfiltered wine in the bunch that I know. So, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of alcohol, a little boozy, a little, little bit of dark earth. Not, not, not bad, but it's. I guess, I guess you're right. I can smell a little bit of a little bit of heat on there. And Chad's a little warmed up. I had two two glasses of Riesling before starting, but you probably had a little more tonight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little more. So, but yeah, the the, the dark cherries, sort of like a. Dark, dark chocolate sort of aromas. Um, mm -hmm. A little bit, a little bit of earth. Um, it smells really nice. A little bit of hot black top. Definitely bigger, bigger, darker characteristics on this. Mm hmm. Hmm. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah. So that, that that like dusty kind of chocolate note works really well with the cherries on the palate. Um, kind of in the background, getting some lighter tartar fruit notes. Uh, yeah, like as the wine finishes, there's like definitely that. like a tart, a tart end to it, right? Yeah. Uh, sort of almost ending on like something citric, kind of like grapefruit, mm -hmm. even. Mm -hmm. um, but like pomegranate, pomegranate like flavors, um, cherry fruit is strong. Um, the tannins are really, really quite nice. They're strong. There's a lot of firmness to the yeah. acid and the tannins. Yeah. But um, which is leading me to think this is probably the youngest of the three wines. I am totally um, with you on this. I'll be shocked if this isn't the youngest one. Yeah. Um, I would I would totally think this is the youngest. Yeah. A little so. bit of nutmeg, but yeah, like the structure elements are there, but not uh, not terribly integrated. I don't think either of them are really disruptive mm -mm. or too strong, but they're not. It's not the seamless transition between all of the elements right now. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. But based on the the way everything is pretty well balanced, um, this is probably something's going to come together really well in a year in bottle. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. This is yeah. really this is I mean because the, the other element the, the the fruit flavors the structure is all really quite nice. Tasty wine, honestly. And just kind of knowing kind of our buying habits and, and, and like kind of what you'd suggest, I'm struggling with where to place this because I mm -hmm. really don't think this is going to be a Dundee or a Yola Amity. So if we've got that it's the youngest one, you've, you've got an idea of where yep. it's from. Um, I do. So I'm feeling like Yamhill Carlton or Ribbon Ridge is what I'm leaning towards. But I'm like not sure one of those would be in the, would be in the lineup. So. Yeah. So I'll, I'll definitely pick everything as we go down the lineup. You know, oh, right. You can say the ABA and I know it's in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, here comes with the rinse of bottle two, so cover them up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right. Wine number two is in glass. The bottle is concealed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I came here to drink some wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I wanted to help you out. I didn't want to yeah. let you down like last time. Appreciate so. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So a little bit lighter in color. Big time. You yep. know? Uh, I shouldn't say big time. Just definitely lighter. Just definitely a lot, a lot lighter. So. You know, and maybe it's just me, but I feel, and maybe it's the light, but I feel like there's just the faintest showing of age on here too, color-wise. Yeah. Like, just a little bit. But okay. we've got like this wooden table, which could definitely... Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. 
a little more savory on the nose. I'm getting kind of like steaky, steaky notes. Yeah, this is this is definitely just yeah, to me just strawberries. Like fruit driven. Um, it sort of reminds me a little of like the cherry, uh, uh, like the cherry menthol candies almost. Hmm. Like um, there's a, something something going on in the nose. It's it's just deeply cherry fruited. Um, I'm not getting much else. Like none of the sort of earthy components that I was getting in the last wine. Like sometimes we talk about the Oregon funk. There are wines that can be like complete opposite of that, where it's just fruit, and that's what this smells like. It's just clean fruited, and literally yeah. nothing else to me. Huh. I don't know. You? I'm, I'm also getting a little bit like maybe a couple of those cherries have been in the bag a little too long. Mm, just well, a little old bit. Old cherries. Well, old cherries. We'll see. We'll see what it, we'll see what it tastes like. A lot more. A lot, a lot more straightforward on the nose, I think. Lot, you know, like the fruit, fruit fly cherries. Mm. <laughs> 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 Get some off camera giggles. Nice on the palate. I really like the texture of the acidity right away. Wow. Yeah. Sets in. That just tastes like, uh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. It keeps it light. High, high quality shit. Yeah. 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 Here we sorry. go. <laughs> Chaz's review. You, got, you can put that on your website. <laughs> what do you reveal? That'll be good. <laughs> two, chat, two thumbs up. High quality <laughs> shit. <Yeah. laughs> sorry. Dan's going to be bleeping a lot. Yeah, the... The fruit's got a good, uh, good sense of depth to it. I'm getting like light strawberries up front, a little bit of that pomegranate, a little bit of dark cherry comes in on the mid palate late, uh, but stays very light. The, these darker yeah. fruits are definitely in the background. I really like that sense of lightness too. Um, like there, I agree with the depth. Like there's a lot going on to the fruit flavors themselves, but that's really all there is. Sure. Um, but that said, it's got great integration with the acid. Yep. The acid is like fantastically balanced on this wine like just absolutely superb and the structural elements like the tannins and the way they settle in and the cheeks effing awesome sorry um no this is this is awesome i mean while the while the fruit is pretty straightforward i mean like there, there's depth there but it's really not that complex um texturally this wine is fantastic and it tastes it's just this is just super easy to drink yeah the tannins are really gentle i'm getting like a little bit of chocolate flavor on them, um yeah. adding a little bit of complexity to that fruit and it's definitely on the lighter side. I feel like if you ate this with a bunch of food or like with a spicy mm. pasta sauce or something, you'd lose a lot of the good stuff going on. Sure. Um, so, so if you check this out, definitely kind of give it, give it some attention alone. Right. This is, this is a, so this is definitely a less intense wine, a less like fruitier, strong wine than the last wine, which yeah. leads me to believe. So these are a 12, 13 and 14. Gotcha. Right, and so oh, that makes that a little more difficult. I would believe a twelve could be that young too. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, I thought, I thought I said in the text earlier. Yeah, so yeah. These are a twelve, yeah, thirteen, and fourteen, which leads me to believe, like I think this is, yeah, gotta be a thirteen, right? Gotta be, it's gotta be a thirteen, gotta be a thirteen. I mean, like this is it's, it's sort of reminding me of like where 07 was early on in the game, like subtle act, like the acids are are sort of well, the acids back then were kind of depends on the wine. Anyway, sure. Um, here's just a lighter wine, right? And, and it's it's uh, bookended by by twelve and fourteen, which are both pretty dark wines. So that is kind of tipping me off on this one. Yeah, it, it seems like a thirteen, but we could be wrong. So. A good sense of complexity to it right now. I feel like it's drinking well right now. Mm -hmm. um, f forced to pick, I I'd, I'd go with the old Amity on the AVA here. Could be. I'm not hundred percent confident, of course, but uh, that's just delicious. Yeah, that's. I really I'd... like this wine. Nice. We mm -hmm. didn't score the previous one. I'd go. I'd go. 88 plus there. I mean, I feel all right about it now. It's an enjoyable drink, but mm -hmm. but it's not at its best. Um, Correct. Another six months at least. It's 88 be plus with definite better. upside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this one just shy of 90 for me. I like the complexity. Chaz is much more excited about it. I think, I'm but, digging this. Yeah. This is freaking awesome. Um, I think he's so. getting a little more, a little more rich than that. But but anyway, yeah, 89 plus for me. I like it, and but de and definitely if you drink it, give it some thought. Yeah, it's. it's I mean. I really struggle to like yeah. describe any complexity, but just the just the feel of the wine is just fantastic to me. I don't know, uh, ninety one plus for me. Oh wow, love nice, it. nice, love it. So doing well. One of your one, if it is a thirteen, then one of your favorites. Yeah, vintage, one of the best right? so like, far. Yeah. yeah, like this is just wonderful. So all right, all right, right. wine number three. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. No. All right. I, mean, I left those behind my computer for a while. Like they still didn't get warm enough. Nah, eh, they're all right. I I, I I I hate them when they're too warm. Okay, bottles covered. You can do the rinse. 
Okay. <laughs> I, th I think I know what, what's what at this point. I think but so, too. We'll see. Uh, th this, I'm even more confident about it now, too. We're gonna look. We're gonna look good guessing vintages. I think. Oh wow. Huh. Or we get to look like dummies together. That's good. At least. At least we're. Yeah. Agreeing about stuff. This time around. I hope we look like dummies together. All right. Yeah, I know. People. Pe <laughs> people love that when. I think people like it more when we're wrong than when we're right. Like. Yeah. We love it when we're right. We get really excited. Sure. I think people out there love it when we're. When we're wow. surprised. Look at the color on this. Also thing. looks a little unfiltered. This um, is like cloudy though. Yeah, and this is right in the middle color-wise, too. Like, a good sense of richness to it. We're talking about the color. We never do that, but we're really getting into it tonight. Mm -hmm. Good good Pinot Noir color. Right in the middle. Whoa, a lot more floral on the nose. A little bit yeah. of potpourri, a little bit of roses. Cinnamon. It definitely, like, yeah, the spices are really coming out of the nose on this one. Like, it smells really good. Earthy. Definitely my favorite nose of the three. This is in a really good spot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. A little like meaty tobacco. And yeah, sorry, I keep cutting you no, off. Go ahead. No, go yeah, ahead. I keep go cutting ahead. you off, yeah. I would agree with the tobacco notes, like like the cherries, there's definitely some strawberry fruit here. Um, but man, the spicy like baking spice, clove, like all over the place. The nose on this is just awesome. Roses, killer. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely more integrated. If this isn't if, if this isn't the twelve, I'll be shocked. Uh, again, just the way the things have, have, have just come together, the yeah, structure and the fruit are really well integrated right now. Yeah, and the structure's pretty dialed back on this wine though too. I mean, like the acid is right there with the fruit, but tannins are on a, on the softer side for sure. Right, definitely. A good touch to the acidity. Um, it, it doesn't come in until uh, kind of the back end, and then it really rises up. It kind of gives a little oh, bit of a little bit of an edge. Um, sure. to, to, to the wine on the finish, it works well for me. I'm actually kind of surprised they keep talking, getting more citrus edging into the faintest bit of lemon. It's really at about the limit. A little bit further, I think it'd be disruptive to the fruit flavors, but it's it's right up there for me. Right. I, I, I agree with that, but at the same time, like, I really kind of dig it, and I think mm -hmm. it adds a, a neat aspect to the fruit on the on the palate. Um, it's good to hear. It's not too finish, much for you. Yeah, yeah it totally does. It, it's it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's well-crafted in that regard, right? Like... Uh, the strawberries up front are smoking as I have more tastes. I really love how it starts out on the palate. Delicious, like a little Mount Hood strawberries. It's got a little more seeds on them, yeah. um, but just really juicy and fresh. And then those, uh, you know, that, that acidic element, the little great, bit of great fruit fruity, yeah, end, great yeah. fruity citrus component kind of rises up in the finish and really kind of extends it. Um, none of the spiciness really coming out of the palate for you that was on the nose or some not not as much yeah, um, which i'm kind of okay with i think the fruit's got a lot of complexity and does well on its own agreed um that's yeah, good and it doesn't have that big rich finish that some people uh, really like to have i think this this saw a little less oak treatment than the, than the previous two wines but i think it handles it well i think the fruit's got the depth of character that that really supports oh that. you're right about the oak treatment wow nice all right well you just okay well, we'll find out, I guess. Well, now but... I'm thinking this is something. I know oh, what these, it's I know what these are. Now. I know what these are. Oh. All so, right. All right. Yeah, we, we should talk Were about... any of these pulled from your personal collection? Or no. These are... okay. no, these are all purchased. And they, so... they were, these are all popping pours, too, right? They were open right before they went in the bag, so they opened for a while. They were open right before they went in the bag. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, but they've been open for about an hour. Sure. So. Sure. Um, really like the way this tastes. Um, this doesn't this doesn't have like the strong structural elements that like some of the other mm -hmm. wines had. But just juicy and super easy to drink. I really love the complexity on the nose. The fruit flavors in the palate are compelling. Long finish, really fun to drink. Um, Eighty nine plus to 90, 90 points. Honestly. Oh, this is my ninety one. So yeah. I, I, the, the compl and as I'm yeah. having more sips, ninety points. Yeah, full, full on. Yeah. This is really good. As I'm having more sips, I'm liking it more. They're like new layers, kind of exposed every time you taste yeah. it. I think what most of us really liked about Pinot Noir, this is bringing to the table. Yep. Um, agreed. Agreed. Uh, the agree maximum price point of the three. Forty nine dollars. Okay. Yeah. Cheapest I, price point twenty six. Oh, wow, that's a good range. Yeah. And this one, I feel like that's interesting. I feel good about this at forty nine. You probably feel good about this at forty nine. Greed. Right. Of, yeah. of our favorites. Um, I think I know what everything is. Now. And then this one, I don't know. Like, not if I okay. if you if I was drinking at a restaurant, I wouldn't pay that price right now. But in a year, it's probably going to be there. Yeah. This this is a wine that like all of the elements are very intense. There's a lot, I mean, like, and they're awesome. 
but they're just not all the way. It's not ready yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what did you say this? So was? this this has to be the fourteen. I think it can't be anything okay. else. Um, and, and what what ABA? And I said so. One of the dark ones. I was going with. I was going with Yamhill Carlton. I think I said Ribbon Ridge, but McMinnville is probably a more appropriate. Yeah, Mill Carlson, Mark McMinnville is what I meant. What? Okay. You you say it's the fourteen, also, right? No. Oh, what do you say? pick the year? You got to say it before it comes out. You don't need the producer. This is the twelve. Oh. Could be. Those big years take a long time to come together. We've learned. Oh, Belmont twelve. The State Reserve. Yeah, Mill Carlson. Carlson. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm right about something. Got that? Yeah. No, I'm impressed. Well done. Whoa. Yeah. I know, right? A baby. We yep. baby killed this thing. Yeah. Like, we totally... <laughs> Man, and I've had it's great like... experiences with, with their yeah. wines aging, so that makes yep. a ton of sense as well. I'm um, blown away that this is a 12 and not a 14. Yeah. When we first tasted them, like, this has got to be the 14. Um, what I really want to compare this to is we both had this experience with eights where it took them forever to come together longer than we yeah. ever expected. And and that's what's going on here too. 12, another warm year. Experienced winemakers like this guy had time to do what they wanted. Yeah. And, and here it is. No rush. No rush to drink this wine. No. Yeah, I, I would sit on them a little while longer. Or decant. Oof. Like, it, 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 yeah. And this was not the $50 bottle either, right? This so, was. That oh, this was. was. It was oh. the most expensive of the lineup, I think. Okay. Oh, interesting. I I well, maybe it, was, maybe it was 39 That sounds maybe the, more... maybe the most expensive was this one. I guess I associate him yeah. with, with which, having lower prices in general. But which I, I think this is the 13 Okay. I would be really surprised if I, it wasn't the 13 I will also be surprised if that's the 13 I'm, I'm wrong once, so I can't... Uh, I'll be even more... Oh, it is, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, cool. I've been wanting to get more of these on the show. It's been a long time. Chaz's favorite of the night. Yeah. Brickhouse Cuvée du Tonnelier. Tonnelier. Yeah, that's a really uh, tough one. I uh, would love to hear how yeah. you actually pronounce that. Biodynamic Grapes, for those of you who don't know, but Brickhouse is another long-time Oregon establishment. Um, I guess... Did I say Oregon Ridge there? Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't remember. We should have asked you before you pulled the pulled the bag. Well, the the, the camera will tell the truth. This is yeah. Ribbon Ridge, so I, I'll I'll. Oh, I probably said the old Amity. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Either um, way, yeah. Long time producer uh, makes a lot of good wine. Have, have had their wines ever since I first started being into them, and they. We haven't had them on the show in a long time. Not so long, I was, too, too long. I've been embarrassed about that. I've been wanting to get more out. Yeah. yeah when when I was looking for wines for the show, I kind of was like, well, we gotta we gotta do do this one. So. Yeah. So, so good stuff. Chaz's favorite of the lineup still, right? You stand by that? Or? Yeah, 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 I really, I think the texture on this wine was just superb. Like, uh, just freaking drinking, drinking delicious. My Easily my favorite of the three. Cool. I'm so interested cool. to see where it goes to. So he knows I'm excited this for this. It's, I it's said on me. It's the 14. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I've got a bottle of this at home I wanted to get on a show. I will drink it myself instead. Yeah. Some other time. Wow. And I loved it. So I'm pumped. Day, so brand day, a friend yeah. of ours from around town, from doing Johan. cool stuff from Johan Vineyards, yeah. other friends of ours, so this great combination of people that we're super fond of, doing great things Killer. with it. I'm yeah, so excited. Was... I, almost everybody that's worked with Johan Fruit, I've been so excited about the results, so when I knew she was making this, I'm like, I can't wait to try it. Um, yeah. Boy, and it delivered. It's great stuff. I've had really good experiences with her wines in the past, and so when I was kind of looking through all the stuff, I saw that her 14s were available, and I was like, all right. This has got to be good, but the cheapest of the lineup by far. Yeah, I think this one's ten dollars, easily ten dollars cheaper than the other two. Sure. Um, and and easily is delicious, at least in, in this setting. So, yep. um Yeah. Those very who love wine. to hate on blind tasting. This is a great chance for you to get in on that. Exactly. But, uh, at, in this snippet of time, in this moment, that's. that's but I think that's always a big wine. question when you've got young producers trying new things. Like like, um, you know, she's definitely getting the word out about her wines, but. Uh, when you, but it's great to see it, it, it see it hold up. Yeah. When you said like, oh, this doesn't taste like the, the oak influence here is virtually nothing. Yeah. I think this was like one new barrel and then all neutral. And I remember reading the the, the notes on this wine ahead of time, and that was like, nope, this is the fourteen. Did, it, as, did, as did, did you that flip that, your? That exactly. Oh. I, I, sw I was sure this was the fourteen before you said that, and I was like, as soon as you said that, I like, nope. There was there was a little bit of oak influence on this wine. Yep. There was absolutely none on this wine. Uh, yeah. yeah, give it away. Day wine, yeah. So cool. So thanks for watching. We'll do the question of the day now. We might have more content to follow. But uh, yeah. question of the day. I don't have one. We we were we were hanging out with our girlfriends. Oh, you got one. No, Just go, go ahead. Uh, I I actually thought of one at work. Uh, you gotta, I, mine is pretty pretty dumb. But you should go with it. Well, I, I gotta I gotta remember it. That's the problem. Is like oh, I it's fun. It's yeah, fun go. to it's fun to watch you struggle on camera. 
Because then it gets worse. Just right when just you're on talk. the spot, it gets worse. No, it's bad. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's you how. Just say what you're gonna say. Hang out with your yeah. friends. <laughs> no, 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 that's a dumb question though. We, we, we were hanging out with our girlfriends, we were all talking about heating pads and how, uh, for the most part, oh, everybody yeah. thinks they are the bee's knees. Yeah. How many of you... And pads. Well, like any yeah. pads and pads. I don't, where do you draw that line? That's like the what difference bigger between... bigger and what's smaller. Oh, okay. It's yeah. like the difference between, like, yoga pants and, and no, workout pants like and that. or whatever, but... It's so, like the difference between a square and a very large rectangle. Washcloth and towel. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just gonna use this washcloth to like cover up my face. Or, <laughs> I'm gonna use this towel to cover up. Yeah, it's a different show next week. Um, <laughs> 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 no, uh, yeah. How many of you have heating pads at home and love them? I think these are a bigger hit than I wow. ever understood. That's a great question. I uh, did you get it? No, so we can overwrite that. that. We could do better. No, no, yeah, 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 no, I, I don't. No. If yeah, we can't do better, we're going to keep drinking, at least. Yes. Good. Wow, we crushed that show. We crushed it's that a show. Yeah. It's a good show. Now we're going to add a bunch of nonsense of us drunk. Yeah, might as well. Bonus content for our subscribers only. For, <laughs> for only $10 a month, you can see us yeah. rambly on camera after we turn things on. You, a you can watch us drunk. Thing. As much as you want. To chase yeah. the cats around the house, yeah. More cats, more content. Can't be that. Oh god. We can start putting a GoPro like right that. here. We could we could we could have the cats as bonus content. If you pay five bucks a month you get cat shots wow. every oh every god. week of the episode. Alright, friends, we're back. I don't know how I edited this in or how this is gonna go, but just, uh, just put it on the very end of the show. Yeah, we've talked about doing this for a long time where we want to taste the beginning of a bottle like we always do. And then review the end of a bottle with you folks who didn't quite make it there tonight because we both have things we want to do tomorrow. The full nose to tail is going to come someday. Yeah. But this but, is close. But we've had, I mean, we've had quite a bit of these wines. I mean, this is three bottles of wine. We've done some about a bottle piece. pours. We've done about a bottle bottle piece. Sure. Um, so, but, wine but number one. The cool, the cool thing about this is that these wines have now been open for two and a half hours. Right. We've been um, open for two and a half hours. And they're all at proper room temperature, which really kind of like accentuates any sort of subtleties that are in the wine. It accentuates Chaz, too. Shut your mouth. <sighs> so. Bleep that. Bleep. Well, I don't know. We'll Bleep see. Bleep it. Uh, Bellpot Reserve 2012. Yamhill yeah. Carlton. Yeah. So, blind... The, the like the everything was so strong on this that like I thought this was fourteen. Yep. Like structurally, the nose is powerful. Nose it's still, still powerful, is, but more it's floral. Strong, it's yeah. it's way more floral than it was when we first opened it. But chocolatey too. Yep. The chocolatey, chocolatey components. The cherry the cherry notes are still there. There's like a little bit of like the red tea sort of thing. Like there's the floral notes. I guess I like, see a pick that as floral notes. Little violets, and I think the alcohol's backed off a little bit. I still get just a touch. You thought this was boozy. No, no, right? I said it was a little hot. You said hot. I, I agreed with Chess you. Chess is trying to cause drama. If this were a reality <laughs> television show, that would be played up. 14-3. That's drunk, drunk boozy by some people's regards. Right. It smells, I mean, it smells a little warm, but like, I agree. The, on the nose previously, there. I'm rambling. It's better now. That's good. That's, that's what the viewers are in for. It smells like a 12. Oh, it's strong. Yeah. It's definitely more integrated now that it's been open for a while. Agreed. So definite advice that if you if you do pop one of these soon, dump it in a decanter. Let it sit for two hours, I guess, at least. Um, but this is almost like Pinot Noir that you could like whoa. put with a very strong food. Sure. Right. Now you could, yeah. I don't think you could. Like, this isn't like steak wine, right? But this is like spaghetti wine. Sure, for not sure. a spicy one, but a mild yeah, one. Yeah. Because um, the, the the intensity of almost everything is dialed like very high, man. Right. Um, but it, it's also complex and really super interesting. I can't believe how much it's integrated in this time. It has, yeah. Um, before, like the acid and the tans were sort of like separate and really abrasive. Here, they're very well integrated. Um, it could be perhaps that my wine ha or my wine, my mouth. Has had a lot of wine in it at this point. My my wine has a lot of, a lot of mouth in it. Your brain's had a lot of wine in it, yeah. Yeah, and so uh, 
my 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 body has become well integrated to it, but but it just tastes wonderful. So yeah, I, I I'm with it. It's it's a uh, strong wine though. It's definitely big. It's not completely integrated. I still look forward to it uh, having a little more age on it. But yeah, I, I, I still think like this is. I mean, this has to be. This this says that this is like the top, like the highest quality, the great, the special selection of the highest yeah. quality individual lots from their in their Bellapente vineyard. So, this is their top wine. This is something that's intended to age longer. We're baby killing here. After I it's been open for a while, though, I really feel. Kind of that complexity. It's integrated better. There's a mm. great depth of fruit. Sure, it's fine. Um, that I real feel, really feel building. I think it still delivers um, some Yamhill Carlton characteristics. I agree. The fruit with that. is dark. Uh, the earth flavors are dark. There's not that like like Oregon funk that we talked about in other AVAs. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's characteristic, ugh, characteristic, delicious. But uh, give it a little time open, or better yet, give it time in your cellar. Better yet, give it time in your cellar. Like. Yep. I, I will probably buy a bottle or two of this to stash. I'm not kidding. Nice. I, I really like the fruit flavors here. The intensity is like through the roof. Uh, I mean, I'm interested. Like this is would be a top twelve, like a top twelve that I've had. Like it's nice. It's 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 just really complex. In the top delicious. five, two thousand twelves. You're gonna go there or not quite? Uh, not quite. Just there. A, just a very good it's, one. It's like yeah. a top ten. Sure. I mean, it's it's really and, and price point on these guys is always. I think this was relatively thirty nine or forty. Dollars. Yeah, which yeah. is which is really right. This is competitive at sixty. I'd, I'd contend. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. We're not going to rinse now because obviously we are not. Uh, it doesn't matter. Catching the most delicate nuance of the wines at this point. More? You got the rest of it? No. Well, yeah, there's not that much left. Good. But uh, yeah. okay. I like this wine a lot. Wine number two, Brick House, Ribbon Ridge. Demeter certified. Let me see if I can wow, two biodynamic wines in the lineup tonight? That Let me see if I can get, uh, if Drunk Chaz can produce, there we go. pronounce this. Cuvée de Tonnelier. <laughs> Hold on, there we go. Tonnelier? You don't know? Okay. Yeah, we'll take a photograph of it. All right. Uh, uh, half a dozen people watching this show at least know exactly how you're supposed to pronounce it. Still is like somewhat muted on the nose, right? It, like it's sort of like a like the Smarties candy sort of sort of nose. Like it's a little bit like it. It smells like uh, sweet tarts, not like candy, like actually like reduced fruit. I can see that a little bit. It's definitely lighter fruit, but nobody yeah. will accuse 2013 of being overripe, right? Right, that, that's and that's and that's not this. The nose is not very giving. It's just just smells like. And it wasn't before. It's a little more, but I'll agree. It's a little. It's it suggests candy a little bit, which I would never associate with this producer. But uh, but I'll, I'll give you that. That's just that's the nose. That's just the nose. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, this is just still drinking so good. Man. Man. Also better. <laughs> just the, substantially better yeah. <laughs> it's still very light but the fruit has gained a lot of depth and complexity on the back end a little more weight a yeah more substance like the intensity levels has like all ratcheted up a, like a, a small amount but it's like it's nowhere near this no right but, but it's on the lighter side and, it, and it's got a great kind of perfume floral characteristic uh mm -hmm. on the finish um that i think is what a lot of people are looking for when they talk about pinot noir that they mm -hmm. love um same thing if you got a bottle of this don't pop and pour it. Decant it for a while. Let it sit open for a while. Have a glass earlier in the night. Save some for yourself later. Yeah. I would say the Bill Pente, like, definitely don't open it. My opinion, like, save it. This wine will definitely do fine with the decant. Because, um, man, like, it was actually pretty good when we first opened it. Like, this is, this is even more delicious now. Um, things have just intensified a little more. Uh, round it out a little more. It's wonderful. I feel like I'm really drunk. I'm mm -hmm. sorry if my wine reviews are. That's that's terrible. why we're shooting this show the way we are. Yeah. So. Um. That's okay. Finger guns. I just it's okay. Finger, I just totally finger gunned the camera. Okay. So. <laughs> you have to cut that. <laughs> what? What did you do? 
Did you make an obscene gesture in camera? No. 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 A off camera person is... Making you giggle. That's rabble right. rousing me. I'm sorry. Rabble Shit, Matt's worse. At least you're not talking shit about the wines as we're drinking them. But, so, I mean, like, I've had 13s or whether the acids were somewhat abrasive. I feel like you could drink, like, a bottle of this start to finish. It's pretty fresh and, and light. Yeah. Right. I, super I, fresh, easy to drink, light, wonderful. I'm sorry. I'm f***ing it. It's, it's, <laughs> there it's go. really good. There we go. Yeah. It's really, really good. You, yeah. Do you feel more strongly about it than when we went through the first time? Yeah. It's yeah. fucking awesome. Fantastic. There so, we go. Get those Good. bleeps. I've all, I've only been bleeping uh, the 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 f bombs. That's really all I've been doing. But uh, yeah. I'm Great. getting better at it as time goes by. So Brianna Days. Yep. Pinot Noir. So D day wines too. Kind of like a little clever joke. Have you ever heard anybody talk about day drinking as day wine? <laughs> day wine? Have you ever heard that? No. Oh, I've got I've got uh, actually Ryan and Caitlin. Right. That's why I learned this yeah. one. They talk about having day wine. Um, I assume oh. that's that's part of the cleverness with the name, and I, I was kind of impressed. Like that's a good joke. Yeah, that's a um, good joke. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's really part of it or not, but uh, it's clever yeah. either way. Yeah. It is now, yeah. Yeah. I would drink. I would drink this. Brandon Day will probably see I, this. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. She, she I would drink this for lunch and drink it all day. No problem. No doubt. Yeah. Let's see. This wine was created naturally with consideration and respect for the planet for those people who love. And tended to it, and for those who will enjoy drinking it. So not stamped in the bottle, right? Because it's not made in a biodynamic certified facility. But we know Johan; those are biodynamic grapes, right? There. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't. Probably it probably doesn't say it on there, but. Uh, kind of smells. But bad. that's what they do. We know the guys. So. Yeah. This smells really good now. The savory components, like the potpourri. The savory like, bones are coming out. Savory right? components and like the the potpourri floral components are like very strong. On the so we'll take a moment here to, to give some really like more interesting content, better than the tasty notes. We talk about value. The new producers oh. in the Willamette yeah. Valley, that's where the value comes. We've seen this happen over and over again. A lot of new people start out, are creating killer wines in this $20 to $30 price point, and, and they can't last because that's not a sustainable price point for a person to make a decent living making wine, so eventually they grow. I can guarantee you in five years, this bottle of wine is not going to be $26 a bottle. Right? I, I would agree. Yeah. And, and this stuff is going to grow. Well, and I th yeah. Well, even from her first production, like we had the 2012 yep. um, uh, Crowley Station yep. Pinot Noir on the show. And I really loved it. Like We, all, we actually both loved it. Um, and that was, I think, twenty twenty one dollars or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, you can you can naturally expect, expect some creep as like uh, wines become become more to the forefront. Well, uh, well, th they'll only get more press and get more interest from a lot of people that are that are focused on Oregon. And so, they'll, yeah. So they, get they, it they now. Deserve, they deserve the money. Explore yeah. the up and coming winemakers because that's where the that that's where you can find the best value in Oregon uh, consistently. Of course, you're going to get some misses. You're going to have some struggles with that. Uh, but you get to know a region that way too, and you get to meet some interesting people. You get to connect. Yeah, that's some good team. No harm. It yeah. re it it really yeah. And if if yeah. you can find this, check it out because it represents a real QPR opportunity from 2014. Cats on the camera, you guys like that better than you like us any day. It's all right. Yeah, animals are sweet. Day wines, Johan Vineyards, get it. <laughs> that's a good plug. That's a pretty good plug. I'm not kidding. This this wine is this wine surprises shit out of me. So, man, I'll be buying a few bottles of this to store. Yeah, no question. Totes my goats. Totes my goats. All right. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.